Sorry, Leo, I just realized that the entire video was not posted. It only posted 10 minutes. There was a longer portion of the video at the end. So please stay tuned. If you need to watch the whole thing again before you get started, then go ahead. Otherwise, you can skip to the end. Hello, Leo, and welcome to your mid-August reading. I'm so excited to look in the energy with you today. We're going to look in the sun, moon, and rising signs of the Leo Collective. Energies can be reversed, which means assign the roles as you please. If this reading does not resonate with you, just stick around because there's something in it that you may need to hear. These messages are timeless, so if you're brought to this channel and this reading, there's something in it for you, whether it's today or in the future. Um, if you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And we're going to be off in just a second. So I'm only accepting the highest and best truth for the highest and best good, bringing forth the most accurate answers. So, super excited. I just did Pisces and Gemini. I'm excited to see what we're going to see for you, Leo. All right. Happy birthday, Leos. We're still having birthdays this month. All right. So we have you now, the next step, the obstacle in your way, the strength, and the outcome. Here we go. The overall energy is planning for the future, letting one wand go and moving towards the future. Uh, towards your Ten of Pentacles, towards your happiness, toward everything that you love via the Page of Wands. So let's talk about that a little bit before we get started. So this is the overall energy of the reading. We're going to go into the details in just a second. But the overall energy is, like I said, this guy is looking out into his land, in his field, and he's saying, wow, I wonder what I want to do next. And look at all this wonderful stuff I've manifested in my life. And look what I've done thus far. And where do I want to go from here? Right? And you see that he's holding on to one of these wands and the other one he's let go. These other two, one still on the side over here, but he's decided to hold on to this one. So it could be three people in your life and you've let one completely go and the other one is still like there lingering on, but you're trying to hold on to the one that's really important to you. So something of that sort, and it's going, this whole thing is bringing you to what you desire and what you want, your happiness, your wish fulfilled, um, your pentacles, which is money, right? But it's not just money, this card, because there's a man and a woman on there and a dog and it's raining money. It's just like, it's beautiful. All right. But it, it's all via this page of wands and a page of wands is there's going to be like some good news. Either you're bringing good news to someone and good communication to someone or somebody's bringing it to you. But either what maybe it's the good news opens up and then all of a sudden you feel like you can communicate with someone. I'm hearing, I'm hearing that really strongly as well. And you can trust this. Some of you guys are going to get a job offer. So those of you that have been waiting for a job offer, you do have the energy for it. So that's really good for the, the second half of the month up until like September and sometimes bleeding over to September because the energy that we're, we're accessing in order to do readings, uh, there is no, um, there's no time. <laughs> it's like multidimensional. There's no time. So that's why we can't tell you exactly. Time is a human construct. So uh, we can't tell you exactly, oh, it's going to be tomorrow or it's going to be a week from now. It's just this is not the way it works. So, um, yeah, so you're going to be able to express yourself in writing if you want to do that. So maybe you write somebody a letter and you're like, hey, I love you letter check. Yes or no. I don't know. Something like that. I don't even know that song. <laughs> anyway, so reminiscing chats and expressing yourself. So as you're having these reminiscing chats with people and expressing yourself and getting to know yourself again, um, you're going to really start to feel very, very good. It's just going to bring the world to you. OK. All right. So you what's going on with you? What is your energy? Ooh. You're the one bringing communication. Isn't that beautiful? So we have the Knight. So not only do we have the Page of Wands, but now we have the Knight of Wands. And that's because we don't have the same card twice. But so, yeah, we have this Knight of Wands, which is the events are speeding up. So I just did Pisces and I think they got the same card. So both of you guys might be working together. Maybe you have Leo and Pisces in your chart. I don't know. But the blocks are lifted and um, now it is time for you to move forward. Uh, and being very fired up and taking action about something. So good for you. The next step that you're going to be doing is, oh, we got to move through some anxiety. So it's the anxiety of moving forward. Um, let's dive into that a little bit more. I got these new cards too right here. <laughs> I don't know this deck very well, but let's see. I'm going to have to just intuitively read it really well. How's that? Which is okay. I mean, I read cards intuitively anyway. I read energy anyway, so um, let's just see. 
Okay, I just wanted a separate deck because then I can clarify and I didn't want it to be exactly the same as a deck that I have because then it's really confusing <laughs> when I put them back together at the end of the reading, right? All right, so, ooh, nice. Okay. Nice. Well, you know, Cancer got the same thing. This is interesting. Okay, so, yeah, so the next step is that we have um, anxiety about this reminiscing chats and this communication, maybe this this event that you're going to be wanting to do and uh, we're going to need to access our full energy and take a leap of faith and just do it anyway okay so you can see here um, she's got you know this beautiful like dress on and she's got this amethyst crystal in her hand and she's looking up at the sky i mean you could just see that this 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 girl right here she feels like twirling around she's got her favorite song on and she's like just enjoying the energy of the earth and the song and everything beautiful that goes along with that Okay, and which is coupled with the Three of Pentacles. And they're like working on something in the Three of Pentacles. They're working on weaving this, this pattern, weaving this thing together. So this is something that you are taking a leap of faith about that was crafted by the universe in such a way that, um, you know, it's like, imagine that this is the universe, these two little girls, right? Um, maybe this is you and the other person. Maybe it could be, the, the gender doesn't matter, but two young souls and then an older soul, like maybe this is God holding up the tapestry and you guys are working together to make this tapestry happen, to make this thing happen. So you got to take a leap of faith to someone's inner child. That's what I'm hearing. And then, then you guys will work together to weave in and out and fix it, it's almost like they're they're fixing like they could be creating this from scratch but it seems like they're coming back to this thing and maybe fixing whatever it is that got ruined you know that's the way they're telling me to read it right now anyway um and it's going to take some strength in order to do that the strength is the same thing as the fear card the anxiety card right here but it's just the opposite so it's basically can you can say the same thing like whatever it is that you have to have strength for is because you love it a lot <laughs> you love it a lot and so it gives you anxiety you know so we're going to have some strength we're going to take the leap of faith and we're going to sift through all the illusions so that we can do that because the anxiety the reason why you have it is because of an illusion because you you have self-doubt that who, who knows where it came from. It probably came from childhood, right? But there's some self-doubt around this connection. And so it's like that's what's causing the anxiety is that you're not really, you're looking at it with uh, the wrong set of eyes, with the wrong perception. And so it's it's holding you back from taking the leap of faith. But you will eventually do it because this these two kids want to fix this thing together. Okay, so... All right, that was interesting. Okay, so what is the obstacle that is in your way? Oh, same thing that Pisces got. So yeah, that's why I was supposed to read these together, I guess. Pisces had the same thing in the obstacle, um, was that you feel like you were left out in the cold. So why would you want to go to somebody that you felt like left you out, left you out in the cold, right? I get that. However, maybe you left them out in the cold. Maybe you think that they left you out in the cold but when they tried to go towards you to fix this, you left them out in the cold. So that's what's holding you back is the anxiety of, are they gonna leave me, leave me out in the cold again? Um, you know, uh, it's just like a runner chaser kind of feeling. Like one would, run, one would go towards the other and the other would run. Maybe didn't even know why they did that. I have no idea why I do that. Um, maybe they chose something else. And then they turn around and came towards you and then it was like, you took off. And then, and then it just kind of did that throughout the time that you guys had relationships with each other. So you guys just kind of gave up and said, you know what, <laughs> I'm not doing it, <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> All right, so what is the strength? The strength is, is that you're, you have everything set in place so beautifully and you're in, and same thing with Pisces had the same thing, like they're in such a good position in order to do this. You're in the best position that you've ever been in your life to do this emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So you have done the work that you needed to do in order to move forward and have this connection if you want to have this connection. Um, you, you have the mind, body, spirit right there. You're grounded on your feet, which means you set your life up, sta you're stable. This is also the card of the miser, but that's not what I'm feeling from this card um, because this is a strength. 
if this was a, an obstacle, it'd be like you're withholding too much. But this is a strength saying, you know, you're holding on to the things that you need to hold on to so that you can make this connection a more healthy one. Okay, very good. All right, and the outcome, wow, is that there's going to be a stick of truth. Um, and so it's the Ace of Wands, which means uh, you're going to express yourself really, really well, and it's time. So very good. You're getting a, splash, a, a flash of inspiration, and you're going to want to extend yourself and express yourself to someone. Um, and this is good for career and enterprise as well. This is good for those things. It's great for a new adventure is if you want that. So this is really good. I want to dive into this card just a little bit more. Let's find out what the universe can tell us a little bit more about the outcome. And for those of you who uh, have love in your, in your existence, and this is a love reading and not a business association or a friend or something like that, we'll find out what's going on in the love area because it's, it's almost reading like a love thing, but it feels very friendshipy to me. So maybe it's going to start out as a really good friendship. Um, and then it's going to move into something more. And those are the best relationships anyway. Um, well, this is beautiful. <laughs> you, you got like the best cards ever. Oh my gosh. These are beautiful. Okay, well, let me read them to you. You have the Ten of Pentacles, which is um, joyous and happiness all around. So that's the outcome of this whole thing. So know that if you got anxiety, you know you're moving towards joy and happiness and connection and beauty and just awesomeness. And then you have the, the connection is with the Queen of Cups. Doesn't matter if it's a male or a female. It's the energy of the Queen of Cups, which is the most loving queen there is. Okay, you can't get a more loving queen than that. Her whole existence is love and happiness and following her heart and her dreams. She makes the world a better place. He, she, right? Because we we're talking, it's just the energy. Um, she's super intimate, knows how to make good boundaries, but she treasures people. She's very intuitive. She's loving and she's caring, caring. And you have the world, which means that it's just moving forward. It's moving forward through destiny. It's moving. One door is closing. Other one's open. Another door is, you know, it's just like, oh, it's just moving forward. Um, t the time is moving forward as well. So, and then it ends up being the six of cups. And let me just show you this cute card. Okay. Look at this card. Um, so you have in the beginning this child who has a puppy and she, he feeds the puppy as he gets older and older and older and then they grow old together, the six of cups. So this is somebody that you're going to grow old together with. Sounds to me like a romance relationship, but hey, it could be a really good friendship as well that you grow old together. Um, but look at that. They started out as young pups, young pups, and now they're um, older, more wiser. And uh, they're living such a sweet, gentle life together. Okay, um, let's go ahead and pull some romance cards. We'll figure out what's going on here. Maybe we could pull some cards about what they're thinking of you. So those of you who have anxiety, we can kind of bust through that a little bit. And uh, that would be really good. All right, let's see. All right, Leo, what do we have? Calling in your soulmate. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Ooh. Okay, well, you're moving away from codependency. Good for you. Um, if you don't know what that is, you should definitely dive into that. It has a lot to do with, uh, it's not just about drinking and drugs and alcohol. It's about uh, nar uh, narcissism. So very interesting. So look into codependency with the, nar with the narcissism spectrum, how they're related and uh, maybe how you got a codependency wound or maybe uh, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's about calling in your soulmate. Uh, right now you're separated, but very soon you're gonna, free, it's gonna bring, once this conversation happens and you get over your anxiety and you actually reach out to this person, you're gonna feel the passion. And maybe that's what you're afraid of. You're like, I'm gonna want to like, I feel the passion from this person. <laughs> you know what I mean? And maybe that's kind of scary to you, I don't know. But uh, it's definitely gonna free yourself. So you're definitely gonna have that full energy. You're gonna love it. Let's get some, uh, man, I like reading this reading. <sighs> this is fun. Woo! It's, it's pretty getting hot and heavy in here. It's getting hot in here. Take off all my clothes. <laughs> Just 
just kidding. I won't do that on camera. <laughs> All right. What do we got? What does our lover want to say to Leo? What does Leo's lover got to say? <laughs> Leo and your lovers. All right. You are my everything. Well, they may be battling some demons right now, but you can still come in and talk to them. <laughs> you are the song of my heart. I believe you. All right. So... I live for your smile and would die for your kiss. Ooh, those are hot and heavy. I love it. Live for your smile, die for your kiss. You are my everything. I am battling my demons. You, you are the song of my heart and I believe you. I love it. All right, guys, if you like this reading, entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you soon. Bye.